As Colorado became more of a Cold War center, there became an increased concern about being a target for the Soviets. So the United States took a lot of concern about trying to protect the larger population. But in good order. Civil defense measures were intended to make people feel comfortable with the Cold War and make them feel like they could survive a nuclear attack, when in fact, that probably wasn't the case. Early civil defense manuals will tell you that you can survive an attack. Some people started building fallout shelters in their backyards in an effort to try to save themselves and their families in the event of an attack. Most people recognized that atomic attack would take a large toll on the population. They knew this, but ultimately these were measures put in place to keep people psychologically in a place where they didn't feel panicked. But the big concern uh, was what to do with kids at school. So that's where those ideas of duck and cover are going to come in. There was a film that was produced by the Archer Company out of New York City. It was called literally Duck and Cover. And it featured an animated turtle by the name of Bert. And Bert tried to tell children, hey, you can survive this. All you need to do is go somewhere and duck and cover. You can smash in buildings. It gave students some feelings that perhaps they could survive. This is something that I could live through. So it made sense to them, and this was for a young audience. 